is your name? Obadiel. Obadiel. L. E. L. E. L. Say that one more time. Obadiel. Obadiel. Yeah. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. What neighborhood are you from? West side okay. of St. Paul. Where's St. Paul? West St. Paul. Do you have any story to share with us about food, culture, community? Ah, uh, food. Food has been the essence <laughs> of my life, mostly. Mm. My grandmother, my mother, my auntie, especially around the holidays. I would call it a thing of culture mm. and tradition. So, even though we celebrate a lot of holidays, I kind of reframe to the thing, change my mind that it's more about family, mm -hmm. sitting down, mm -hmm. breaking bread, mm -hmm. keeping that tradition alive, mm -hmm. which came as we made that transformation over to what we call the promised land. Mm -hmm. Some of it, it, it has never left us, mm -hmm. those of color. Mm -hmm. And this diaspora, the indigenous people. So, okay. but I'm quite sure every culture shares that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, in your neighborhood, where do you like to get your food? Uh, you know, we have to go to the supermarkets, right? But since mm -hmm. I kind of like do it on a different basis, you know, like you order online, get mm -hmm. your food from. Uh, Chef, ever, uh, what is that? Apron Chef or whatever it mm -hmm. is, you can order online. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you can order food online, which is mostly farm raised, organic. You make that choice. So, uh, Blue Apron. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. I couldn't get the name, so y'all mm. forgive me. No, no, uh, I just, I know it because they advertise it when I listen to podcasts. Like, I hear, yeah. I hear it being advertised, so that's yeah. why I know what it is. So, you can, you can. You know, order healthy food, uh, which they, you know, you, you can choose it, two meals, you know, for two individuals, or because we have a tendency to cook food in bulk and abundance, and then it's wasted. So, you know, and we have to definitely be mindful of what we intake into our bodies because it affects our thinking, our blood cells, all of it. So just imagine something being either, you know, prodded, mm -hmm. and we wonder why we get tense, and we get like frozen mm -hmm. and stiff, because what you just intake was stiff and afraid and fearful. So anyway. Okay. No, that was beautiful. Foods that are hard to get are mostly those that are farm grown, mm -hmm. organic, healthy. Uh, most things you find on the supermarket shelves. They kind of making a little change now. Mm -hmm. Who's to say if it's all you know good, you know for you? But they're making a change in the supermarkets now to have it organic. Mm -hmm. So, but mostly, you know, the supermarket. Switched over, like I say. Okay. Yeah. Get that. What is that? Blue mm -hmm. apron. Blue apron. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There you go. Last question would be: What have you heard tonight that you'd like to share with your neighborhood as we continue this conversation about investing in food um, in our neighborhood and community? Uh, as the sister was explaining, more or less like having politicians become. To hear those that's in the neighborhood and listen to what's needed instead of making mass buildings and new condos, trying to get something to the point of saying, yo, you know, here's what the community needs and to invest some dollars into that. Healthy eating plays a big part on how we interact with one another. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> you